What's up YouTube? Stefan Scott here, representing Icarus Athletics, and today is episode three of Fight to Flight. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about slow and steady. Going slow and steady. I know as a kid, you probably heard that story growing up with the turtle and the rabbit, and how slow and steady wins the race. Well, as I'm older, as I'm getting older, as I'm going through my life and learning through my experiences, that story is really true. What I'm learning is life is all about going slow and steady and about taking your time and about patience. And I am the most impatient person you'll ever meet. I'm not good at having patience. I've never had patience. If I have to stay in a line at the supermarket for too long, I get antsy. If I have to wait for my food in the microwave for more than like two minutes, it's like the biggest deal in the world. But as I'm getting older and I'm in school and I'm going to college and I'm running my own business, I'm starting to realize that slow and steady really does win the race. And it's not about how fast you go, it's just about going. I'm learning that progress isn't necessarily how fast you go or how fast you reach your goal, it's just about going. Because even slow progress is progress and great things do take time. I know it sounds cliche because trust me it does. I, I even express myself when it comes to patience. I have none. When you're waiting on something, whether it be an answer, whether it be you know, some validation or anything that you're waiting on, a new job, a new opportunity, it takes a long time. But I'm starting to realize that in life and in the things you want to do in your head, it's always quicker. It's always a one, two, three thing, like a list, like a one, two, three thing, instead of a time thing. Because in our heads, we move so fast. We live in a society where everything has to be fast. Lose weight fast, get ripped fast, gain muscle fast, you know, like get rich fast. Like everything is in the society so fast paced. Like we just want it there and now, we want to snap our fingers and it has to happen. But unfortunately, Life doesn't work like that, and even though society teaches us to be like that, society isn't even like that. Even when it comes to school, in my head it's, okay, go to college, get a degree, get a job, bam. It's like that, three things, simple. But then the process, the freaking process to getting all those things, like I gotta apply, I gotta take all these classes, I'm in school all day, from day to night, I'm doing tests, I'm cramming, I finally got my freaking degree and then it's like, okay, great, now I gotta find a job, now I gotta do this and that. It's so hard, like, in my head, it's like a one, two, three thing. It's like, okay, go to school, degree, job, bam, cool, done. But in reality, it's like a laundry list of things that take you so long to do. Even the day I decided to start my own fitness company and become a personal trainer, my head was like, okay, find a logo, find someone who can make me a logo, make a name, get certified as a personal trainer, find clients, make money, bam, that's it, done. Then in reality, it's like, gotta find a graphic designer. I gotta work so hard to find a name and a logo that's not taken. I gotta get certified in personal training, which isn't easy, by the way, it takes a long time, at least for me, like the way I did it, because I got have more than one certification, and then I gotta find clients, which is the hardest thing to do, especially in this day and age where everything's online, people have resources, people would rather figure it out themselves and spend money to pay someone to do it properly for them. It's, it's way harder in reality than it is in your mind. But as I'm going on and on, I'm realizing that it does take patience and it's all about going slow and steady. Because now I'm way more grateful to have everything I have because it took me so long to get. And I was going slow and steady and I went through the process and I went through the obstacles and I went through the hurdles. And then when I got my certification, I was the happiest kid on earth. When I got my degree, I was the happiest kid on earth because it took me so long. I had to fight for it. It didn't come easy to me. And that was because of it going slow and steady. But truly, the reality is success is an iceberg. You only see the top and you don't see the struggles that lies beneath the water. Even with my business, for example, when I first started, I was training people for free. I was training anyone for free. I just wanted clients because I just wanted the experience and I really loved the job. I was very passionate about it. As Soon as I got into working out and I saw how it changed my life and my perception of things and it taught me so many life lessons, I wanted to give that to the world. So I started training people for free. And even with my business, now that it's like grown to what it is now, the people who, when I was with that, when I was starting it, 
and they see me now, they're like, oh my gosh, dude, like, I remember yesterday you were thinking of a name and a logo. Now you have this many clients and you're doing this, this, and that. And it's like, yeah, that's true, but you didn't see all the struggles. You didn't know that I was training people for free for the first year. You didn't know that I wasn't making any money. They didn't know that I almost ran out of business and I had to shut it down almost three times. They didn't know about all the allegations that happened and me getting into, you know, problems with the gym owners because I was taking away their clients from their trainers. They didn't know like all the things that I've been through and the experiences that I had and me almost quitting a bunch of times. They didn't see that. They only saw the success. They only saw the pinnacle. They saw the top of the iceberg, not what lies beneath the water. Life is a game of endurance. It's not a game of how fast you can reach from point A to B because our plan in life is a straight line. Like I said, it's a list. It's go to school, get a degree, get a job. Life's plan is like that. Ups, downs, sideways, loop-de-loops, all that. That is life's plan. Life will throw you so many curveballs, so many things will happen to you, and it will just throw you off your game. So like I said, life is for the determined. Your goals, you have to be determined. You have to be slow and steady and patient because great things take time. Also, strongly believe that as humans, we tend to be very ungrateful. We want something so much. When we want something so much, we want it now. And sometimes when we get what we want right away, we're ungrateful. We get it and then we just disregard it. For example, let's say a kid wants a toy and his parents get it for him right away. They want that toy really bad. And they're like, mom, dad, can I get this toy? They're like, yeah, get dressed, we'll go get it right now. When they get that toy, they're gonna be happy. They're gonna be so ecstatic. But when they get it, after like three days to a week, they're gonna forget about it and want a new toy. But now let's say this kid has to wait a whole year until his birthday comes around to get this toy or whatever they want. When they get that toy, they're gonna be so much more grateful. They're gonna be so much more prepared. They're gonna be so much happier because they had to wait and go through that whole waiting period and process and those ups and downs like, man, I'm not gonna get this toy. Or maybe I'll get it tomorrow. No, I'm not gonna get this toy. They have to go through all that and when they finally get it, it's gonna be worth so much more. So that's my opinion on this topic and that's my advice to you guys. Life is about going slow and steady. It's not about who can reach they're the fastest, but who gets there? And if you guys have any personal experiences or you agree or disagree with this, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is episode three of Fight to Flight.